Ethnic coating is a relatively simple but critical practice in the overall maintenance and management of athletic wood floors. In this video, we'll show you the most efficient and effective way to complete this important task using the Bona SuperCourt Recoat System. Before starting any work, be sure to have a discussion with the client about what they should and should not expect from the recoat process. Indicate any pre-existing defects such as damaged wood, peeling finish, paint issues, or anything else that might interfere with adhesion. Check for scuff marks and identify if they are above or below the existing finish. Any marks or blemishes below the finish cannot be removed with a recoat. Check the baseboards and surrounding areas for damage marks and dried finish from previous finish applications. Indicate to the client any pre-existing conditions that recoating will not address. Lastly, discuss with the client any chemicals that have been used on the floor in the past or might still be in use, as these could possibly affect adhesion of the recoat. After the existing floor conditions have been identified, it's time to prepare the job site and make sure you have all the materials needed to complete the recoat. Lock all doors and secure entry points to prevent unwanted foot traffic. Place signs in visible areas to indicate that the gym floor will not be accessible. Begin the cleaning process by dust mopping the entire floor with the Bona Athletic Floor Care Mop and Bona Microfiber Dusting Pad. Remove any gum, tape, soda spills, and other sticky substances you find. It is essential to remove all foreign substances and objects from the floor before moving on to the abrasion process. Anything missed could severely compromise the effectiveness of the diamond abrasives during the subsequent steps. It is important that throughout the recode process, from abrasion to finish application, personal protective equipment be worn, including safety glasses, nitrile gloves, and in some cases, a respirator. Thorough and proper abrasion of the floor is vital to ensure adhesion of the new finish. The best and most efficient way to abraid athletic wood floors is to use the Bona Multi-Disc with 180 grit Bona Diamond Abrasives. Each set of diamond discs will last 4,000 to 5,000 square feet, so for most gym floors you'll only need to change the discs once. While abrading, move at an even pace and work with the direction of the flooring, overlapping each pass by at least 6 inches. Make sure to remove all scuff marks and any other flaws that are on the surface. All gloss or sheen on the floor should be completely removed during the abrasion process. Abrading a gym floor creates a lot of fine dust. Using the Bona Dust Containment System BackVac during the abrasion process will aid in minimizing any dust left on the floor and allow for a cleaner, healthier environment for everyone involved. After abrading the entire floor with the Bona Multi-Disc and BackVac, Remove the bulk of the dust utilizing the Bona Athletic Floor Care Mop and Bona Microfiber Dusting Pan. Pay special attention to edges and baseboards where dust tends to collect. Proper vacuuming and tacking prior to finish application will ensure a cleaner, smoother result everyone will notice. Following dry dusting, clean the entire floor with Bona SuperCourt Hardwood Cleaner and the Bona SuperCourt Mop and Microfiber Cleaning Pad to remove any remaining dust and debris. To properly wet tack the gym floor, start by completely wetting the Bona Microfiber Cleaning Pad. To do this, submerge the pad in a bucket of Bona SuperCourt Hardwood Cleaner. Wring out any excess cleaner back into the bucket. Place the Bona Cleaning Pad on the floor, logo side up. Adhere the SuperCourt mop base to the cleaning pad by placing the mop base on top of the logo side. Run your hand along the flared edge to ensure proper adhesion of the pad to Velcro on the mop base. Push the mop up and down along the floor. Maintain the flared edge of the mop base as your leading edge during the cleaning process. When the pad becomes loaded with dust and debris, thoroughly rinse the pad and repeat the process until the gym floor is clean. Always begin with a clean Bona microfiber cleaning pad wet and wrung out with Bona SuperCourt Hardwood Cleaner. To speed up the tacking and cleaning process, have multiple Bona Microfiber Wet Cleaning Pads available. Before the application process, tape and mask all floor plates and other objects on the floor that will not be coated with finish. 
Prior to starting the finish process, remember to wear safety glasses and any other recommended personal protective equipment. The best way to prepare Bona Supercourt Waterborne 1 and 2 component finishes is by using a drill and paddle mixer. Protect the work area from spills and splashes by working on plastic sheeting or drop cloths. Remove the lid from the bucket and insert the paddle mixer into the finish until it reaches the bottom. Mix the finish carefully and thoroughly for one minute. Allow the finish to rest for five minutes before use. If you don't have a drill and paddle mixer, you can prepare the finish by rocking the bucket. Grasp the handle and make sure the lid is tightly secured to the bucket. Swing the handle back and forth for approximately one minute. Allow the finish to rest for five minutes before use. Prepare the Bona Supercourt HD two-component finish by first adding the recommended amount of water to the crosslinker, then shaking the mixture for about 10 seconds. Carefully pour the crosslinker mixture into a full bucket of Bona finish. When mixing is complete, it is necessary to strain the finish. Straining allows for easy removal of any solids that may have formed in the finish bucket for a clean, professional recode. Repeat this process for all additional buckets needed. Finally, pour the prepared finish into the Bona Supercourt finish dispensing bucket or clean watering cans for easier application. Prepare all of the application tools by thoroughly rinsing with clean water, dry to slightly damp. Before you begin coating, it's important to have an exit plan. Of course, you don't want to trap yourself in a corner, but you also don't want to end your application in a highly visible area. Inevitably, as you work across the floor, small amounts of debris will accumulate under your applicator pad. Avoid an unsightly pile of debris in your final pass by soaking up the contaminated puddle of finish and pouring a fresh, debris-free puddle to finish the job. It's best to always finish your application out of a lesser-used doorway or exit. To help ensure proper coverage rates, place tape on the walls or surrounding floors in measured increments to indicate square footage. Another option is to stage the buckets of prepared finish at measured increments relative to the necessary coverage rates. Begin coating by pouring a 6-inch wide line of finish along the starting wall, making sure the finish is at least 8 inches away from the wall. Walking at a medium pace, Gently pull the finish with an 18 or 24 inch Bona swivel head applicator using very light downward pressure. Heavier downward pressure will spread the finish too thin. It may be necessary to pull the first line along the starting wall twice if sufficient coverage was not achieved. At the end of each run, turn the applicator toward you and pad out the applicator parallel to the wet edge. Feather out all turns. Continue this process all the way across the gym, keeping your finish lines at least 6 inches wide at all times. When you finally reach your exit point, soak up extra puddles of finish with clean rags. If necessary, pour a fresh puddle of finish and complete the application, smoothing out the finish as necessary. Allow the first coat of Supercourt waterborne finish to dry for 2-3 to three hours before applying a second coat. Remember, high humidity and cooler temperatures will extend the dry time while high temperatures, increased airflow, and lower humidity will decrease dry times. If for any reason the first coat is left to dry for more than 48 hours, you must abrade the floor prior to applying the second coat to ensure proper adhesion. To apply the second coat and any additional coats needed, follow the same process as that of the first coat, working with the direction of the flooring, overlapping each pass by at least 6 inches, and allowing sufficient dry time. Allow the final coat of Supercourt waterborne finish a minimum of 24 hours cure time before resuming use of the floor. Thoroughly wash all application tools with water and place them in airtight containers for storage. That wraps it up for the basic recoat process of athletic wood floors using Bona Supercourt waterborne finish. Remember that Bona representatives are available for any questions or concerns you may have. Thanks for choosing the Bona Supercourt system the best, most comprehensive solution for athletic wood floors.